When I think about a bomber jacket and its associations, um, the first thing that comes to mind is military. Um, and I think that's where the kind of the strong sense of it being such a key piece um, comes from. I mean, I don't think you can think of a bomber jacket really and not think of the other connotations, be it sportswear or streetwear or um, going back to the mods and the skinheads. Um, but really, it all stems from that military appeal that it has, the ease of which you can just sort of throw on a bomber jacket and it instantly adds a bit of attitude to any outfit. I usually wear a bomber jacket with a kind of sweatshirt and jeans combo, I would say. I like the fact that you can dress it up or dress it down. So if you wear a shirt and a sweater and a bomber jacket, um, it looks as acceptable as just a t-shirt and a pair of jeans on a Saturday. Um, Again, that is kind of one of the enduring appeals of a bomber jacket, I would say, um, is that it really is a staple piece that you can wear in a number of different ways. In terms of how the ergonomics make the jacket appeal uh, to a number of different people, it's a very, very easy jacket to wear and kind of as soon as you put one on, it, it, it feels like a proper piece of menswear. You know, going back to the the shape that it adds and, and just the ease of use, I think, Guys like things that sit on their hips and accentuate shoulders, um, even if it's subconsciously. Um, they're often also in sort of very easy to wear fabrics, be it the classic silk nylon of the original MA1s or in kind of wool varsity versions, which are really more blues on styles, um, or in leathers. This season on Mr. Porter, we have a number of different uh, interesting bomber jackets. It's a very popular item of clothing, especially coming into fall. So we have a few options. For instance, we have a, um, a very nice padded version um, from Rick Owens who kind of always does a, a version of um, this season with a concealable hood. We've also got a full range of what you would call the classic bomber jacket styles from um, shots, um, which are all exclusive to us in um, luxury skins. So that's through from a full B3 classic um, full shielding bomber jacket through to we've got a leather MA1, um, so there's a, there's a whole range of, sort of four or five there. There's also a very nice um, cotton twill version from J. Crew's subline, Wallace and Barnes, um, which has got a contrast jersey rib cuff. I wouldn't say there is a limit to the number of finishes and versatility of a bomber jacket. Because the style is so easy, um, really, and any guy can wear one, I think that's why designers end up playing so much with fabrication. Um, I think you find that a lot with real classic staples in menswear in the there's a reason those styles are classic and it's that you don't really need to play around with the shape. I would say the enduring appeal is, is down to ergonomics um, and just how easy to wear they are.